The table. A symbol of Buffalo Bills fandom everywhere. But this is a symbol that crashes. Let's go! <laughs> Welcome to the Bills Mafia. Organized crashing. The earliest I can remember it is 2014. It's a pregame tradition of body slamming tables that started during the Bills 17 year playoff drought. Yeah! You knew you weren't gonna get the product on the field, so you had to go for the product in the parking lot. It soon spilled over into all Bills fans' life events. Beat cancer, table smash. Gender reveal, table smash. Men, women, children, all breaking tables. The social media movement has made this a, I'm gonna one up the guy who did it last. John Rood is a Rochester, New York transplant living in Olathe. You don't choose to be a Bills fan, you're born into this. He heads up a KC Bills fan chapter. The rally point has been determined. And this week, he's part tour guy. So I'm excited to see how many make this trip and welcome them all here and show them, show them the town. <laughs> Demolishing, yes, but Bills fans are also known for building up. They once donated over $1 million to a children's hospital in honor of Bills quarterback Josh Allen's grandmother. They built an entire wing at Oshai Children's Hospital called the Patricia Allen Wing. They also donated over 400000 to Bengals quarterback Andy Dalton's favorite charity after he won a game that helped break the Bills' playoff drought. There's something about teams that have suffered for so long and then having success like we saw here in Kansas City. Locally, Rude's group raises money for schools and other organizations. You know, we, we live here and this is our community too now, so we want to make sure we give back. Such as to department stores that sell tables. Well, step one is always you want to buy the cheapest kind. I mean, you're going to break it anyway. Bills Mafia! Step two is to symbol a crowd, I guess. Make sure those cameras are rolling. Loosen a couple screws if you want. And then find some screws loose. Right here! 